this video is going to be a Halloween decorations DIY video and I'm going to be sharing with you four different super super easy decoration ideas and they're all like obviously Halloween or like fall related and I hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to leave me a comment down below of what Halloween costume or makeup tutorial ideas you'd like to see because I'm kind of like starting to plan when I'm gonna do those and what you guys would like to see would be really helpful so leave me a comment down below and yeah, so also I did want to mention that uh, the first DIY is this little um, like Frankenstein tin can and I did this over on the Burb Girl channel. If you guys don't know, I do a video for them every single month so you can go check out the channel and see all the videos I've done plus all the other girls that are on there and so that's where you can find this first DIY. But other than that, let's get into the video. As I mentioned, you can check out this DIY Frankenstein over on the Verve Girl channel, and I'll have it linked down below for you guys to go check out as well. But moving into the next DIY project, which is a ghost ball, you're going to need a star from Ghost, tissue paper like streamer, push pins, string, and googly eyes. So the first thing you're going to want to do is take your string and press a push ball push pin into the styrofoam ball. This just secures it and this is how the ghost is going to hang once you are finished and that's basically how you get started. Then you're just going to take your streamer, I guess I'll call it streamer not tissue paper, and you're going to want to take your hot glue gun and kind of make a dot near the top of the thing just to start the streamer off and make it easier for you to wrap it around the ball eventually. So go ahead and stick that on. And it's okay if it's like covering up the string because it's going to be fine later. And I basically just kind of glued little globs all over and made it easier for the streamer to stick down. It's really good. It's a really good idea to make the streamer stick on the first round because it makes it easier to wrap um, from then on. So go ahead and do that. Once you have a nice secure base, you basically just have to keep wrapping the streamer around the ball a whole bunch of times and you can do it as much as you like to make it as thick as you want or to make it as like even I guess because you want to try and cover all of the styrofoam and it can be a little bit tricky because of the patterning but if you have a full roll of streamer you're going to be fine. And I basically just spent quite a few minutes wrapping it around undoing the string and every once in a while I would glue the piece down just to make it easier to stick. So use your hot glue gun every once in a while, you don't need it like for every single wrap around but it is nice to have every once in a while to make it a little bit more secure once you're done that you basically are almost done all you have to do is glue on the googly eyes and again I just use my hot glue gun for this and I just press those into the front when you hang it make sure that the eyes are like visible and everything but that is basically all you need to do for this really simple ghost ball and you can hang it on your roof you can hang it off like a command hook like I have for my Halloween little sign there and yeah, it's really easy and it's pretty fun. Moving into the third DIY, I did some pumpkin mason jars. And again, this is another super easy DIY project. And mine actually didn't turn out as good as I'd like. But all you need is a mason jar, black and orange paint, um, a couple of paint brushes of whatever size, and somewhere to put your paint, as well as some green ribbon. So starting off, you're going to want to use your orange paint and paint your entire mason jar orange and I painted this one by hand orange because when I first did my test on the mini mason jar you saw at the beginning I used a spray paint and it was really neon and I didn't really like it that way however the coverage and it everything it looks way nicer so if you can find a non neon um, orange spray paint then I would recommend that because it looks a lot better and it's a lot faster and everything so that's basically what I recommend but you can go ahead and paint it by hand it gives it a nice crafty feel but once you are done and you've left it to dry overnight go ahead and take your green ribbon of any size and tie it at the top I just tied mine in a bow kind of looks like a ninja headband if you ask me once I was done with this mason jar but I like to take my lighter this is just a regular barbecue lighter and I light it up and I kind of melt the ends of the ribbon. I learned this in ballet from wearing point shoes and everything just so your ribbon doesn't fray and I use this technique here too because I didn't want my edges to fray and this is just really easy. Be careful with the lighter though if you're a little bit scared of how that's going to go. And then basically take your black paint and paint on a pumpkin face. You can make it cute, scary, whatever you like. This is basically all creativity and I'm terrible at art so that's why my face turned out really really bad and I apologize for sucking at that but 
like I said, art is art. You can do whatever you want with this and make sure you add a nose. So I have two eyes that are really uneven and a nose and then go ahead and draw any type of pumpkin mouth. I highly recommend looking at a picture. I didn't have anything to go off of. I was just kind of winging it. And by the end of it, I just ended up with one big black smile and I looked really dumb. So, you know, be a little more creative than I was with this and actually do a nice face because mine turned out great and then it just ended bad. But I'm sure I'm not the only one that this happens to when it comes to art projects. Please tell me I'm not the only one. And yeah, that's basically all you need to do to finish your mason jar and then let that dry. And that is the completed mason jar and I'll go ahead and show you the other one that I did. I liked this one way better and since it was a mini mason jar I had a cute bow to make it like a girl pumpkin. But moving into our last and fourth DIY project. This is the DIY chevron pumpkin and this is by far another easy DIY project. All you need is a pumpkin of your choice. I chose orange and green paint as well as paint brushes and a place to paint your paint. Place to put your paint is what I meant. And I chose a white pumpkin from Michaels just because I like the look of it and it matched my sign and that's also why I went with green and orange because it also matched that Halloween like hanging sign that I have. So I kind of wanted everything to coordinate but you basically just take your paintbrush and start doing zigzag stripes. You can make this easier for yourself if you have a different type of paintbrush. I don't recommend the sponge ones. <laughs> Again, I learned a lot when I was doing this video on what you shouldn't do and so I would recommend just using a regular paintbrush and kind of doing a little bit more neat but eventually it will line up and it'll look good once it's completed and it's okay if it's a little bit more abstract I don't mind so basically just go ahead and complete that and then take your other color and like I said you can do whatever you want with this it's basically just showing you how to paint a pumpkin and this is a plastic pumpkin if you were wondering it's not real um, you can do like polka dots you could like put an actual face on it, use a stencil, basically be creative in whatever you want, but I really like chevron, so that's kind of what I went with. This paint usually dries really fast, but I do recommend leaving it overnight before you start putting it with your other things just so it doesn't have the chance of getting on anything else. But overall, that is the end of my video. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing these DIY Halloween projects and found it a little bit inspirational. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you have not yet done so. And I will talk to you lovely people in my next video. Have a great day. Bye!